Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic and today we are reading The Remarried Empress episode 25, 26, and 27. I have to apologize to you guys because I did take a whole week off. I was feeling pretty sick and under the weather, but now that I'm better this week, I will be uploading two episodes, which is today, Tuesday, and Thursday. So definitely tune in for that. And yes, I will be wearing the same outfit in the next few episodes. So let's get started. All right, guys. So where we last left off is when this is Duke. I can't say his name correctly. It's Duke Ergi. Um, I'm sorry, guys. My grandma is really active during the day. So you guys going to hear a lot of doors opening and closing and her coughing and stuff so i'm sorry in advance but uh yes yeah, so pretty much this is duke ergi i think i said this i said that right ergi or erge or i think erge sounds a lot better let's go with that um so pretty much what we know about him is that he's a really close friend with prince henry and women who are involved with this man always face some type of misfortune um and so right now he has gotten pretty close with of course rashta and at this point they kind of have an understanding that she is very jealous of course uh about you know the emperor kind of rekindling you know or getting close with the empress and so he pretty much came up with this idea we don't know yet on hey i have an idea and you should like do this and of course rashla is pretty vulnerable she's very easy to manipulate so she there's a high chance she will listen and actually do this and i don't know it's probably gonna be a huge downturn for her she's gonna fall into a bear trap so let's get started all right so it looks like we are at the villa where the emperor and empress are having her birthday at her celebration. Rain. It's cold. The physician said you've been working too much. I know. I was awake when he said that. <sighs> it seems we shouldn't have taken this trip. I'm sorry for ruining your birthday. It comes around every year. Please don't worry about it. But you only have one birthday this year. <sighs> when I talk to you, it's like... It's like talking to a companion. Did you know you're pretty good at getting sub subtle barbs in? Your physician said you must rest here for a few more days. I should send for Rashta. Should I send for Rashta? Uh, that was another criticism, right? Is that what it sounded like? Was it not? It wasn't. There's no need to send for her. She will be disappointed. Isn't that a good thing for you, though? It would serve her right if you felt disappointed, but if she came, then I would, could go back to the palace and catch up on my work. The things she says are fascinating and cute, but she's not a calming presence. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. I just want some peace and quiet right now. Hmm. She's going to feel hurt. One week later? Jeez. Clip, 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 clip. Oh, your majesty! Rashta! Your majesty! Oh my god. I mean, he wasn't wrong. At least he kind of realized that she is pretty overwhelming. Like... At least he knows. I thought he, this whole time he was just like cluelessly in love. But like, oh my god, I gotta see you 20 like every freaking day. Um, huh. Your majesty. <laughs> I hate crybabies. Okay. <laughs> Have someone bring over the backlog of paperwork. Clip, 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 clip. Mm. 
Yes, Your Majesty. The Remarried Empress, Episode Twenty Five. After coming back from the villa, I had to catch up on all my work as well as taking on some of Sylvester's work while he recovered. Get well soon, Your Majesty. My Queen. So the next few days went by in a blur. <sighs> Sylvester hasn't been making any outrageous requests on Rasha's behalf lately. If only it stayed this way. There is a small mansion called Crystal House, not far from the main palace. In the past, it was where the emperor's mistresses resided, but it's now a venue the nobles can rent for events. Duchess Tuania's tea party. Oh dear, it seems I'm late. Huh? Uh. Uh. Why is she hugging onto him? That's weird. Your Majesty, it's an honor to finally meet you. Are you Duke Erge, Claude? I'm amazed you knew who I was right away. Good afternoon, Your Majesty. Uh, I didn't know that you would be a would coming. Wait, I didn't know that you would be coming with Lady Rashda. Uh, I thought that. That it would be a helpful, be helpful for her to attend a party hosted by a social butterfly like yourself. <laughs>、uh, okay. You don't mind, do you? If I leave now, it will be the talk of the town for at least a week. By the way, have you heard the news about Bar Baron Riven? I have. He's finally divorcing the Duchess after he kept asking her to accept his ele illegitimate child. Illegitimate, illegitimate, illegitimate. Oh my God! How do you say that? Illegitimate child as his heir. Guys, we're gonna take a quick second to、uh, to learn this word real quick. Hold on. All right, guys. So this is a whole new thing that I'm just gonna start doing as well. If I am reading something and I feel like I just am not saying it correctly, and as I am reading these webtoons to kind of learn English and learn how to pronounce it correctly, I feel like maybe there's people out there like you guys who would honestly struggle saying some of these words too. So it is okay. I'm gonna do this literally on. <laughs> YouTube, my YouTube video, my channel, and gonna pronounce it. If I sound funny, I'm sorry, S sorry, sorry, but we're gonna do this, okay? This is how it sounds like.、Um, illegitimate. Illegitimate. Illegitimate.、Uh, illegitimate. Did I say it correctly?、Um, okay, and then I love this feature on Google because I can also practice with it. So let's see. I don't know if it can catch my mic. Illegitimate. J. Try to say G instead of J. G. Ah,、uh, hold on. Illegitimate. Ah,、uh, I didn't say it right. Okay, say it one more time. Illegitimate. Hold on. Illegitimate. Illegitimate. There we go. <laughs> Continuing on. Okay, he's finally divorcing the Duchess after he kept asking her to accept his illegitimate child as his heir. Ooh. <laughs> as you know, the Duchess is from the Duchy of Crum. I heard she went back to the Duchy with the children. Isn't Baroness Riven Lady Alicia's Alicia's younger sister? What is Lady Alicia doing these days? This is something I heard prior to the New Year ceremony. But, um,、uh, who is Lady Alicia?、Uh, oh, the glare. The oh,、uh, mm, girl, girl. <laughs> She's like your predest. 
predecessor. Pre, pre, oh my gosh, predeces, predecessor. My predecessor? Huh? She was the mistress of His Majesty the late Emperor. Ah. If Lady、uh, Alicia's sister is a duchess, does that mean she's also a noble woman? Yes, Lady Alicia caught the eye of His Majesty the late Emperor, Emperor at a ball. Then what is Lady Alicia doing now? Silence. <clears throat> well, I'm not too sure. Lady Alicia. I heard she was kicked out of the palace. It was very unfortunate. <gasps> the late emperor grew tired of her very quickly. She was in the emperor's favor for a much shorter period compared to the other mistresses. Oh, that's gonna scare her. And it all ended quite badly. <sighs> oh, that's. That's pretty awkward. Oh gosh, I heard it's common for nobles to have longer、uh, have lovers outside of their marriage. So it seems that's true. Well, it's true that there are more married couples who have other lovers than couples who don't, <laughs> unless they are a good match, like Countess Elisa and her husband. That is, is be is because it's unconventional for to marry for convenience. I see. So. It's very common. Actually, I was really shocked to hear that Duchess Tuania have five lovers. <laughs> But since that's nothing out of the ordinary, it's like I step into a whole new world. Cling. <sighs> okay, she's just saying a lot of stuff that is getting her in a lot of trouble. Honestly. Did I say something inappropriate? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Duchess. She's not yet familiar with the slightly forced manners that are required in polite society. She says things exactly as she hears them. <laughs> Thanks. Next time you bring someone who has no sense of. Decorum. You should teach them a basic etiquette at the very least,、hmm. Ooh. and not just let them spread groundless rumors. Oh no! Are you upset? I'm calling an end to the party. I apologize, Your Majesty, for inviting you to an event that turned out to end on a sour note.、Hmm. Commotion. Please don't blame yourself. You didn't know. Oh no! As Duchess Tuania has been dominating the social scene for more than twenty years, she has a lot of enemies. It's only because she is highly regarded and popular that nobody can easily say anything bad about her. Don't worry about it too much. <laughs> I can tell this won't die down for a while. To be continued. I think the funniest thing is that when I ask my grandma, like, "Hey, how many just stay quiet?" <laughs> She's over here washing dishes. Oh my god. Okay. Anyways, continuing on.、Um, let's go. Will this be enough to get people to turn on Duchess Tuania? No. This is just the beginning. I'm sure you can keep going on your own now. I'm not very good at this kind of thing. <laughs> That was cute, but I told you I don't get fooled easily by that kind of act. <laughs> Ooh. Anyway, I need to go somewhere for a bit. I'm pretty curious. Like, what does he? What does he see? Because everyone else are so easily fooled by this woman, but I mean, I can't wait to see the snake shed their skin. <laughs> you don't need to come with me, huh? The Remarried Empress, Episode Twenty Six. 
Huh? Your Majesty. I've been waiting here for three hours. You must be really busy. He waited for me for three hours? For me? What's the matter? Straight to the point. Well, I'm glad we can cut to the chase. Are you aware that I'm a friend of Henry's? I am. I see. So you're aware. <laughs> I heard Henry talk about your majesty a couple of times. Did he mention me as well? He didn't tell me very much about you. Did he say anything odd? What do you mean? By that, I mean, did he say anything negative? No. This is what always happens. He always say bad things about me to people he's fond of. He says, I'm cursed. Ugh. I don't know why you're telling me this. <laughs> it's because I could tell that your majesty and Henry aren't the type to move in the same circles. Henry and I are the shallow type. He could tell even though we hardly spoke to each other. The difference between me and Henry is that he has no decency and wants someone who is the complete opposite of him. While I know my place and only socialize in a shallow way with shallow people. Are you saying I shouldn't be friends with Prince Henry? No, I just came to give you a word of advice. <laughs> Oh, Henry is two-faced, your majesty. He's the kind of person who can stab someone in the back with a smile on his face. You shouldn't trust all the sweet things he says. Aren't you one of Prince Henry's closest friend? He was the one who invited me here in the first place. Did he tell you? <laughs> That, for the past few years, he's been preparing. Tut tut. Oh dear, good day, your majesty. I'm sure of it now. Huh? One of them is from the Western Empire, one of them is from Loot, and the other one is from Bulvohan. You clearly are attracted to the foreigners. Isn't that right? It seems you don't know this because you haven't been with any other men besides me. Is he embarrassing her? Like, oh, okay. But simply saying that right things doesn't make someone a good man. Then what kind of a man would you say is a good man? Me? Uh, uh. <laughs> her face is like, bruh. <laughs> Anyway, I appreciate it if you could be more careful in the future. Then I'll also look for a beautiful young lover who is from our empire. Huh? If that's what you want, honestly. So he sees nothing wrong with taking Rashta as a mistress, but he doesn't want to hear about me taking a lover? Anyway. For the past few years, he's been preparing. What was he about to say? Was he talking about a plan? I should ask him myself. Your Majesty! Huh? Your Majesty? Mm, yeah? Uh, I'm sorry. Is something on your mind? Are you thinking about affairs of the state? No. Huh. Then what is it? Although I doubt he's going to tell me. Rashta, are you close to Duke Erge? Yes, I am. Is he also close to the Empress? Why do you ask? Because I saw them having a very friendly conversation together this afternoon. This afternoon? I need to go somewhere for a bit. It must have been when he left. Could it be? What if I do this? Should I try seducing the Empress? 
Is he really going to seduce the Empress for me? I told him not to. Hmm. Rashta? No, the Empress and Duke Ergi are not close. <laughs> is that so? Of course, it's because the Duke is my friend. Hmm. You are so gentle and innocent. <laughs> are you trying to help the Empress in case I get the wrong idea about her? <laughs> Was it obvious? By the way, I see you're not wearing the ring I gave you these days. The ring? <gasps> the ring with the red gem on it. Don't you remember? What? Oh, yes! Is he talking about... The ring I gave Loteshu? He's not going to ask to see it right now, is he? The ring has a spell on it. If you keep wearing it, it's, your scar will disappear. What? Oh no, what a waste! <gasps> Rashta! I had no idea, so I gave it to a poor servant. <laughs> Your Majesty, are you going to think I'm a shameless I'm shameless if I ask you for a similar ring? Well, the other one belongs to the Empress. If I find a similar ring, I'll give it to you. To be continued. What did you do what did you do with the ring I gave you a few days ago? Did you sell it? Of course I did. I'm sure you weren't expecting me to wear it myself. <laughs> you did what? <sighs> Sit down. How insolent. If we are really on the same side as you say, then you can't act like you're superior to me from now on. So you can't tell me I'm being rude or anything like that. Got it? Fine, I understand. You have you... So have you made up your mind? Not so fast. If you mess things up while doing something on my behalf, then I'll end up looking bad, won't I? So you have to show me what you're capable of first, so I can tell if you're going to be useful. <laughs> Alright. What do you need me to do? I need you to find some dirt on Duchess Twania. The Remarried Empress, episode 27. Good afternoon, your majesty. Good afternoon. Whoosh. Um, your majesty. What is it? Um, your majesty already has Prince Henry as a close friend, so... I'd appreciate it if you could leave Duke Erge alone. <laughs> what? He's the first one to appro who approached me. Duke Erge was the only one who believed me and took my side when I was backed into a corner. So what's your point? I meant nothing by it. P please, d don't take this the wrong way. I, I just think that your majesty has a lot of friends. <laughs> so... You don't need to take away my only friends away from me. Indeed. Don't worry, Duke Erge isn't my friend. Uh, <laughs> and it's like you said. What do you mean? You wanted something that belongs to me, but I don't want anything of yours. I'm not desperate enough to steal from others. <sighs> um, Your Majesty already has... Empress, huh? Would you mind lending me the flower of the desert? The flower of the desert? That's the ring that the traitor who had traveled to loot gave him. If your majesty is after an enchanted ring with healing properties, I believe you already have one in your possession. <clears throat> That's true, but I don't have it at the moment. Unadorned. Do you really need it, your majesty? I want to briefly lend to someone who has injured their hands. 
I promise I'll return it, so just let me borrow it for a little while. Her face is like, I see. It seems Rasha's hands must feel rough to the touch. How did you? You said it was for someone else. I doubt you, I doubt you would lend it to a noble. If you're certain that, that it will be returned, then it means it must be for someone who is under your control. <laughs> Which makes it obvious that it's for Rashta. I can lend it to you. Huh? Under one condition. What is it? I want you to lend me one of your magical items in return. I might want to... want to... I might... W want to lend it to someone else later what do you mean who would you lend it to i thought i told you yesterday since you don't want me to spend time with a foreign companion i will look for a local lover okay so you mean to lend one of the emperor's belongings to a man from our empire if you didn't want to lend me the ring, you could have just you could have just said so. Do not speak of this again. <laughs> In the end, I wasn't able to eat much. I should ask Countess Elisa to make me some snacks. Hmm. Prince Henry, my queen. That bird. It's not queen. He's queen subordinate. Subordinate? Not his friend? He's also queen's friend. But officially speaking, the bird is his subordinate. <laughs> the face is so cute. I can't. <laughs> Your bird has such a wide range of facial expressions. <laughs> Do they? Queen makes a lot of surprise, dis disappoint, surprised, disappointed, or embarrassed faces. This bird is, on the other hand, looks angry. <laughs> He's always like that. He looks sour all the time. Can I hug him? No, you may not. <laughs> He's jealous. Ah, because he looks like he wants to return to his room. Awkward. Oh my god. Like, I would totally draw this bird as a meme. Like, this is too cute. <laughs> he looks a little sluggish as he's sick. He's just putting it on as a form of protest. I'll have to ask later why he went off in a huff. You can talk to birds? Yes, I can. If it turns out that he was angry because I stopped your majesty from hugging him, then I plan to smack him at least 10 times. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It reminded me of what I do with Queen. <laughs> what do you mean? I pat him from behind sometimes. <laughs> he got a very cute behind after all. Oh, he's blushing. Uh, well, thank you. Did I put it too bluntly? He's more innocent than he appears. Actually, Prince Henry, there's something I wanted to ask you. Oh, that cough. Ask you. <laughs> Certainly, my queen. What is it? I came across Duke Erge yesterday. Oh dear, I hope he didn't try to flirt with you. He didn't. But he did say something strange. Huh? He said that you were the one who invited him to come here. Yes, I did. Our conversation was interrupted, but he was in the middle of saying that you had been preparing something for the last few years. Huh? I think the thing you were preparing for for the last few years is a plan. What kind of plan would that be? Ooh. To be continued. Dang it! Oh, okay, well... Dang it! <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for today's three episodes. Um, if you guys enjoy this, definitely leave a thumbs up and subscribe. 
this episode really did kind of mess me up just a little bit just a smidge because i really want to know will he really tell the empress his plan but tune in thursday and we'll shall you know we shall find out <laughs> i'll see you guys next time bye